Our interest is solved problem in the downstream process of suspension culture of iPS cells. In the upstream process of suspension culture of iPS cells, cell aggregates are formed and differentiated. In the downstream process, the differentiated cell aggregates must be dispersed into single cells. The problem we are trying to solve is that the process of cell dispersion relies on, on manual, uh, which makes it difficult to scale up due to individual, individual uh, differences. We are trying, trying to solve this problem by developing a scalable uh, device that can, can efficiently di disperse cell instead of manual. To disperse cell aggregate into single cells, cell storage is required to dissociate the adhesion between cells. In the manual cell dispersion process, cell storage is applied by pipetting. The cell dispersion device we, we have developed, uh, developed is equipped with a simple rotating cylinder, which is characterized by applying a constant shear stress by rotating the cylinder at high speed. If the cylinder rotates too fast, turbulence will occur and damage the cells. And, and at low speeds, sufficient shear stress will not be obtained for cell dispersion. We designed the device so that the liquid flow becomes a tailor vortex in the, in the region of optimal rotation speed for cell dispersion. The liquid flow of the cell dispersion device was visualized by PIB and the shear stress applied to the cell suspension was calculated by imaging analysis. Using a benchtop scale cell dispersion device, a typical Taylor vortex flow was observed at the cylinder speed from 250 to 1,250 RPM. At 750 to 1,000 RPM, which was optimal for the dispersion of cell aggregates, the calculated maximum shear stress was 1.1 to 1.6 Pascal. The calculated shear stress was comparable to the value in human capillaries. The character characteristics of Taylor vortex flow is that the vortex flow is formed in layers, and it is so that the collision between cell aggregates caused in this uh, state also becomes the driving force or driving source of cell dispersion. The optimal cylinder speed for cell dispersion was compared and verified. As a result, in the cell line used in this study, the yield was maximum at 1,100 RPM, and the e and yield decreased at the higher RPM. It was suggested that there was a cylinder speed that maximizes the, maximizes the cell recovery. Next, uh, octopore markers were analyzed by FCM to confirm that the uh, dispersed cell remained undifferentiated. As a result, it was confirmed that the undifferentiated state was maintained at any rotation speed of the cylinder, as in manual. The cell dispersion reaction solution had compar comparable recovery efficiencies for manual and the device used with triple. On the other hand, PBS containing only EDTA has the same recovery efficiency. In suspension culture of IPS cell, a cell dispersion device was used for passage. Using a bioreactor, uh, cell aggregates grown in 100 milliliters for four days were dispersed with a small scale cell dispersion device to obtain two, uh, 200 million cells. The obtained cell was inoculated into 500 milliliter cultured for four days. And, and then the aggregates were dispersed with a benchtop scale cell dispersion device to obtain 1 billion cells. The obtained cells were inoculated into 1.5 liter and four days later, 3 billion cells were, were obtained. For cell dispersion, no enzyme solution was used in all steps and the PBS containing only EDT was used. The obtained cell suspension was not centrifuged and the dispersed suspension was directly inoculated into the, into the culture medium. The conclusion is as follows. Thank you for watching.